Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and tonight I'm going to show you a quick recipe. This is my meatloaf, how I make my meatloaf, probably how a lot of you do it, but um, this, I've got around two and a half pounds of ground beef in here, and I've got one and a half onions. And to me, meatloaf is just not any good without green peppers in it. So I just took out a handful of, well, a couple handfuls of my green peppers that I um, had frozen. And then I'm going to put two eggs. And then I have the Great Value Original Instant Oatmeal. I'm going to do two packs of that. And then I'm going to mix it up as well. It's going to take my fingers. I already knew that. And I haven't put my ketchup in yet, so. I hate doing this. It, my hands get so cold. But it's two eggs, one and a half onions, as many green peppers as you want, and oatmeal. Some people use bread. Some people use oatmeal. Some people use crackers. But... From what I'm doing tonight is oatmeal, and that's usually what I use is just regular oatmeal. And I put a lot of ketchup. Yuck. And I mix all this together. And once I get this mixed all together, then I, I've already got my oven preheating at 350. Okay. You can put some more ketchup in here. Like I said, I like a lot of ketchup in it. I like meat life with my ketchup. <laughs> and once that's all mixed up together, then this is really too much for a loaf pan. So I'll put it, I have this pan right here that's bigger than a loaf pan but we like to have leftovers here and so that's why I always make more than than I should so we can have leftovers the next day and maybe the next day and, and then I can freeze it if we don't do that. Alright, this is mixed up good enough so I'm going to put it in my pan, and really it's not. My hands are frozen, frozen. been washed and now I'm going to push it down in here and I don't grease the pan because the ground beef has got enough grease in it so what I usually do when this gets done is I will dump out some of the grease that's in there because when you make it in a pan like this the 
grease just sits in it and I really don't like that so I do try to empty out the grease all right and I'm gonna go around and try to get it into what looks like a loaf <laughs> some salt on top all right and will you put some more sorry about that I ran off a room on my memory card so I had to get another memory card and put it in here real fast so I'm just gonna squirt um, more ketchup on top yeah I know it looks like a lot of ketchup it is <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my spoon and do that and we'll go put it in the oven and I'll probably cook this for uh, I really don't have a time on this either I just look at it until I think it's done probably about an hour um, in anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour so I'll bring you back when it's done okay here's the meatloaf might not be the prettiest, but it's going to be good. And here it is on the plate. And yes, we use paper plates around here. Um, you can see the peppers and the onions in there, but they're all cooked. And the top of it's a little brown, but that's from the all the ketchup that I put in it. And my daughter just tasted it and said it needs more ketchup. But <laughs> I don't think so. But I usually put a little bit on mine when I eat it anyway. So here's the meatloaf. And hope you enjoyed this. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a good night. Bye.